The topic is how do you master communication? What are the habits of great communicators? Let's start. First thing, a good communicator. And when you think of good communicator, you get names of many people. You probably get the image of Martin Luther King Jr. his image or you might be thinking of Swami Vivekananda's Chicago speech. Some of you may also think of Barack Obama or for that matter even our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. And there are many more people who are exceptionally good communicators. Sashi Tharoor, yes, many of you may think of him, especially for his language skills. Now, please see what are the key ideas for a good communicator. So, first and foremost ability they have is their ability to connect with people. Okay. Before you think about your language skills, your English skills and anything else, what you need in order to become a good communicator is develop connection with people. Now, how do you develop connection with people? You need an ability called perspective understanding. Understanding the viewpoints of different kind of people. When you speak after understanding the mindset of the people to whom you are going to communicate, whom you are going to convey the message, when you understand their viewpoint, when you understand their perspective, when you understand their way of living life, their way of looking at the life, then you speak what matters to them. You speak what appeals to them. Even if you do not have good language skills, even you may not know all the tricks and trades of the public speaking or communication skills, even then, just because you will be talking sensible things to them, you would be counted as a good communicator. Okay. So first and foremost, your ability to connect with people and for that, what do you need? You need perspective. You need the understanding of how people think. Only if you have that understanding, you will be able to talk sense. So that is one thing. Now your question may be that, how do I get this connection? How do I understand them? Okay. How do I get the content which appeal to people? So from there comes the second ability, an ability to observe things in their originality. Observe as it is without bringing your story, without bringing your background. Do you have the ability to objectively see, objectively see things? Can you see things as they are without adding your judgment, without bringing your story, without carrying your baggage of your memory or your learnings or what you have seen earlier? Okay. If we cannot do that, then what happens? We color our perception and when we color our perception, we are not able to see the reality. Okay. We pass snap judgments. We look at cloth of a person and we pass a judgment. We probably look at the eating style of a person and a pass judgment. We sometimes look at the way person behaves and we pass judgment about his or her background. And that makes us a poor observer. A good observer is a keen observer of everything. How a person is behaving, if you observe carefully, you will get clues what appeals to that person and what doesn't. Another part in the observation is, do you collect your life experiences as powerful examples of your communication? Do you collect your life experiences as such? So many experiences we get, life gives us day to day. When you get a chance to give a live example from your life, you might have seen in my many of the videos where I have shared the stories which are essentially the incidents in my life. The story of the auto rickshaw driver who gave me two lessons I have shared. The story of a student who told me about mastery orientation in a different way I have shared. I have shared many, many stories. In fact, some of my content, not some, most appreciated content of my comes from those original experiences which I have shared. Okay. So, please see if you want to be an effective communicator, note down the key incidents in your life. Now, you may think, sir, what kind of key incidents? 
any story of struggle any story of winning anything exciting anything which is not usual if you observe okay then it should enter into your notebooks seemingly very common very simple incidents can be very inspiring things seemingly simple styles can be very inspiring communications let me give you a very interesting example a true story okay and this i heard from porus munshi the story is of a young boy and this is about 30 40 year old story real incident young boy named s narendran who was freshly graduated from iit he joined apollo tires in sales and marketing workforce young boy very very you know talented enthusiastic passionate to go about his life just began his career but during a travel between meerut and delhi this young boy meets with an unfortunate accident and next day s narendran finds himself in the hospital and what he realizes that he has lost his right leg above the knee and when he comes to know this he gets in absolute depression he starts crying he he just loses all his he lost all his hopes and when that happened so many of his colleagues his friends his well wishers they came and they started consoling him they started telling him don't worry life will move on if not sales and marketing you can do some other job so you can do you can get into uh, uh, into hr something like that they started consoling him but he was absolutely unconsolable he was telling my life just started how could god the, do this with me i worked so hard i came out of my iit and just now i started my career and i lost my leg i don't know what will happen to me it is so unfair and he went into this spree of you know self dejection into crying at that moment his boss whose name was uddayan dravid he walks into the hospital in his room and as he walks into this young boy as narendran looks at the boy and again starts crying starts sobbing see sir my life is destroyed and all that thing he starts saying uddayan dravid talks here something very interesting and listen to this he says i want you to know this narendran that when i came to this apollo tires our turnover was about 50 cr 50 crore rupees and today we have 400 cr turnover and our profit book was showing minus 17 cr okay profit and loss account minus 17 cr and today we have brought it to 80 cr and i want you to know that to bring it from 50 cr to 400 cr and minus 17 cr to 80 cr i have never ever used my legs he just says this and like electricity like electric current s narendran gets the perspective simple play of words but it's in the style they say it creates a difference and s narendran was you know he was able to overcome his depression he was able to again think passionately he went on to later on become the head of sales and marketing apollo tires later on he went on to become head of tvs and then he started his own business and did very well what was this power of communication how could it come Uddayan Dravid, the boss of S Narendran, showed his leadership skill, and one of the key thing we need is communication. Communication skill is one of the most demanded soft skills, one of the most rewarded soft skills today. Whether you are a teacher, or you are a businessman, or you are an employee in some organization, maybe you are into sales and marketing, maybe you are just a student going for an interview, or maybe you are into a relationship. In every in every place you would need good communication skills so i told you two things for great communicators number one they connect well number two they observe they observe from two point of view they observe people's perspective they see things as they are and they collect right good inspiring exciting incidents which they see in their life they collect that and they use it wherever required 
So these were the two things. Now let's understand what is the third thing required to become a good communicator if you want to become a good communicator. Third thing, they do not hesitate to participate. They are always willing to say something, willing to talk, willing to give their opinion. They are willing communicators. Are you willing communicator? Ask yourself. Is your presence felt? Maybe you are attending a meeting. Maybe you are standing somewhere for let's say one hour or so. Maybe you are in a get together where many people are there. Is your presence noticed? Do you make connections? Do you give your opinion? When the person on the stage or desk is asking question, do you stand and say what you want? In your society meetings, maybe the apartment you live, when the society meetings are happening, do you sit there as a MOOC observer who do not speak at all, who do not say anything or you stand and say what you want? Doesn't require you to be very knowledgeable. Okay. Sometimes you could sim simply appreciate other people. You could simply say, hey, I like the way you spoke. I liked your point. You could even say that. You could simply stand and introduce yourself. I am so and so and I am the part of this family and I stay in so and so flat. Something you couldn't say, right? So don't be a silent spectator if you aim to become a good communicator. If you want to become a communicator whom people look up to. If you want to become a communicator who can impress people whom people want to listen, then you have to always take your chance. Wherever you get a chance, whether on the stage, maybe a Toastmasters platform, maybe in a simple classroom, maybe in an interview, maybe sitting at a public office, maybe in an ordinary meeting, maybe in a public gathering, maybe in a family get together, never miss the chance of making a point. Chance of It's also an essential leadership skill. Okay. Now, I'm not telling just become a reckless speaker and speak a shoot off your mouth without thinking. I'm not telling that. Say little things, but say you must. If you do not use this, then you are missing from the attitude point of view. Okay. You may have a lot of knowledge. You may have a lot of ideas. You may have excellent strategies. How will people know? For making people aware of this, make yourself heard. Go on social media and speak. Today, if you don't have any platform and in COVID times, anyways, we are not allowed to make uh, get into big gathering. At least social media platform. Switch on the camera, speak something, give a nice message. Instead of writing on your WhatsApp, speak. Switch on the camera, make a low resolution video, put it on the WhatsApp. Instead of sending good morning message in text, send it with a smiling face saying good morning, namaste and maybe tell your name or give a good quotation. Okay, make videos of reading few quotations. You can get so many quotations, right? Every day you can do make videos of stories. Okay, if you are very uncomfortable with video, at least audios, podcasts are there. Send audio messages instead of using your WhatsApp or Telegram or whatever social media you are using. Instead of giving only text message, make them video and audio messages. And that will make you participate more. That will give you practice more. It is the practice which is what makes you a professional. You know, professional, you see any professional, okay? Whether a musician, whether an actor or a director or anyone who's a professional or writer, they always practice, they always stay, they always, even as a doctor, what are we called? Are we practicing or not? Because you are always learning. You are always looking at your activity with the fresh eyes. That's the way to grow in your communication also. So do you practice? Do you make videos? If you don't, then you are missing a chance. This is the time where people are sending video emails, where people are promoting their products through videos and not just simple message, where everything is happening through videos. And if you are missing on that, you are missing something significant. So do not miss the chance to make video messages to speak to to make your presence felt and the last point if you want to become or if you want to be counted as good communicator yes i'm not talking about the technical things today but the last point here is focus on the positive aspects a good communicators usually focus on more of the positive aspects they appreciate more people they find goodness they have an eye for goodness they have an eye where they can describe a situation a little differently in a positive light the more positive i'm not telling be falsely positive 
but look at the positive angle of the things and add more and more those things in your communication. Appreciate people a little more. Appreciate them for their dress, for their behavior, for their communication, for their timing, for their discipline, for their health. Anything, you can always find out things, okay? When you appreciate people, when you frankly see goodness in the world, you will find that you develop a personality which is a little more pleasant to talk, which is a little more, uh, you know, uh, appealing to be with. What happens with people who always find only negative things? Usually, uh, people won't enjoy their company. So, please see that you develop an eye for goodness. That will, these are the four points I told you. Number one, you have to learn how to connect. Number two, for that, you have to become a good observer. And in observer, I told you two points. Observer of people's behavior, how people behave, how different people think. You can read different kind of biographies to understand how people from different background think. What is their worldview? How do they look at life? Okay, see that. And the next point in that is, how do you make your presence felt? Become a participative communicator. Don't be a MOOC spectator. If you are traveling in a train for 10 hours, you must introduce yourself to the fellow passengers. Maybe your fellow passenger is a retired bureaucrat. Maybe he's a very experienced person and you might learn a lot of things. But remaining silent spectator doesn't help. So make your presence felt. It's an essential thing. In office places today, what happens? It's not the best worker always get recognized. It's the person who can present his or her work in an effective way gets recognized. So maybe your... your uh, uh, what I can, appraisal meetings are happening where your boss or the HR team is asking, tell me, how was your performance last year? What did you do? What are the key things you did? And if you are silent at that time, if you are not able to present your case, maybe you miss your hike, maybe you miss your, pro your promotion, maybe somebody who is not working that hard, but just at that moment who is able to speak well, will take that, that, that promotion. It can happen and it happens to many people, isn't it? So please see, maybe sometimes your boss calls and uh, you want to give him an idea but you are anxious, you are depressed or you are you're nervous and you are not able to speak at that time. You miss an opportunity. Maybe in an interview a question is asked and you knew the answer but just because you did not have good communication skills, you did not have attitude to speak frankly, you miss the opportunity. And what happens after you missing the opportunity? You regret, oh I wish I should have spoken like this. Don't regret, practice. Practice. Imagine. Imagine yourself putting into such situation and speak. You know, one fun fact, our human mind cannot differentiate between what is imagined and what is real. Whenever you imagine something with intensity, it could be, imagine my boss called me and this is what he asked me and this is how I will speak. Maybe you just imagined it and prepared that. If you did that, your mind, your brain will register it as a real incident. And imagine if it happens in reality, then you have already rehearsed it and your next time will be definitely better. So, please see that you become a participative communicator. And the fourth point was, you develop an eye for goodness, eye for positive things. Whenever you meet a person, make a point that you say something good about that person as far as possible. Of course, it should not look odd. It should not look that you are trying to flatter that person, flatten that, that should not happen. Okay. So, these were the few things I told you about developing good communication skills, habit of good communicators, why they became good communicator. I did not tell you as such about how to develop communication skills because it's a huge topic and obviously you don't expect me to finish the entire topic in 20 minutes or half an hour on a YouTube live. Okay, feel free to send your questions on connected the rate of drvivekmodi.com. You could also send me questions either on Twitter my Twitter handle is again at the rate of drvivekmodi.com. You can also get connected on Instagram, okay, dr underscore vivekmodi. You can just Google that or on my YouTube page, you will find the Instagram link. So simply go in that. Facebook again, same dr vivekmodi. Any platform, I'm available now. So with that, let's stop. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments, for all the emails, lovely messages you have sent me. Namaskar. Good night.